Part of that fact pattern, which is so common, you have an individual who's a resident in Virginia, and I'm gonna guess she owns that property individually in Florida, okay? That's the majority of clients you'll get. Hey, I'm making money, I bought some property. Oh, where? Oh, we like to vacation in North Carolina. We have a place in the mountains, fine. I have my other home, this home, that home. Usually it's owned by them individually or jointly. The problem with that is when you die, there's something called ancillary probate. And so we use revocable trust. Remember my very first slide, the revocable trust to avoid probate for the client, right? The senior generation. So we have privacy at death and ease of administration. We're trying to avoid the probate process. The probate process is a public process, court supervised, where you take the assets and you administer them through the court system with the approval of the judge. When people have property in other states, I've got to set up multiple probates. It's called ancillary. So I have to go to each state and set up a probate. And then I got to sell that property or transfer property with the approval of the court in the public domain. So one of the things I do is, again, these are little things that you can do that get a lot of credit for as you build value to a plan. Say, oh my gosh, you've got property in other states on interest. We got to stop that because, you know, you'll have ancillary probate. This will be exposed. So you create a trust or an LLC just because then the ownership of that LLC is, or that trust is through Virginia. So when she dies, it's all going through the Virginia structure. So Avoiding individual ownership of assets outside of the state of residency is a big deal. And, and LLCs and trusts are your solution there.